Hello everyone, so in this video let us talk about a hard level problem from lead code. The problem name is cut off trees for golf event. So let us go with the problem statement first. You're given or you're actually asked to cut all the trees in a forest for a golf event. The forest is represented by a M cross N matrix. In the matrix there are some numbers which are represented as the following manner. So zero means that the cell cannot be placed or that particular block cannot be walked through. 1 means that it is an empty cell that can be walked on and a number greater than 1 represents a tree in that cell that can be walked through and this cell and like this number is a tree of height. So whatever the number is there that is the height of the tree and that particular cell you can also walk through. So you can only walk on 1 or any number that is given like greater than or equal to 1 not 0. Okay. So this is how a matrix will look you can also see here. Like this. Okay. Now what we will actually have to do is in one step you can walk in any of the four directions and uh, like east north south west and uh, if you are standing on a cell with a tree you can choose whether to cut it or not so if you are standing on a cell it's your call to cut it or not cut it now you must cut all the trees from the shortest to the tallest the whole problem is that you have to cut the trees from the first the smallest tree then the next smallest then the next smallest all the way to the lot tallest tree in the whole ground and you have to do that and what you'll actually have to find out is that you have to start from 0, 0, 0. So you will start from 0, 0, and then you will find out the smallest tree. You cut that. You go to the next tree. That is like the next smaller and next smaller and so on to the largest tree. You will cut all of them one by one. And you have to just do on the minimum number of steps that are required to uh, cut, all of, cut all of those particular trees inside the golf course. If it is not possible, it is minus one. Now that's the whole problem. Now, uh, what you can observe here is that I think so you overall got the idea what we eventually are trying to do here is that we have to start from 0, 0 and then we have to cut down the trees inside the golf course in such a manner that we have to first cut down the very smallest tree the next smallest and so on and uh, uh, we have to just delete out all the trees uh, either it will be all ones okay now uh, what we will approach in this problem is that the constraint is pretty small so you can think in a very brute first way also and if I have let's say a matrix and I have let's say uh, like the shortest distance between two points. So let's say I start from 0, 0. My overall thing is that if I start from 0, 0, I want to first reach the smallest tree in wherever the whole grid is. So I have to somehow also sort the positions at which where is the smallest tree in the next smallest and so on. So I have to somewhat do that calculation also. But let's say if I know where is the smallest tree, I have to get there. If you want to get that particular point, the smallest distance between two points in the grid is the, uh, let's say you can say, Hamming distance, if I'm just correct. Hamming distance is, let's say if I have a grid like this, if I want to reach from this point, let's say to this point, the shortest distance between them is this, or this, whatever you can say. But because in this problem, there are some grids that are not walkable, maybe this is not walkable grid. Or this is not workable grid so you have to come like this so in this scenario if i want to find out a smallest difference between two points then the overall idea is to use bfs because bfs just do a breadth wise search in some whole grid and you can easily find out what is the point that is the smallest distance between two points okay, in a particular grid so what you'll do eventually is that okay i will first start from 0 comma 0 and do a BFS to the next smallest tree that is there inside the whole grid. I will reach there. From there, I will just cut that out. And then from there, I will go to the next smallest tree, the next smallest tree and so on. If I am not able to get to the next tree in the path, then it is bad because I have to delete all the trees okay, in the whole uh, uh, golf course. If I am not able to go to that particular tree, then answer is negative minus one directly. If I'm able to reach, I will have to keep on storing how much steps I have taken to get from point A to point B and then from point B to point C. So the overall idea is to do BFS again and again from every point, not to do a single BFS, but to do a, do a BFS from one step at a time. So let's say if I'm start from 0, 0, that is this point and the smallest tree is let's say this, then we have to do a BFS to get first here. Then let's say the next smallest tree is here. So I will do and do a BFS from this to get to the next point. So because BFS either even if it, if it takes like o of n square time it is uh, fine with us because we can do this in in that particular time period also 
so the next thing is we have to first also have the knowledge that where these trees are like where is the smallest in the next tree so we can just sort out the trees by their values also like uh, by their value and we can also store that where the coordinate is that i want to reach to so let's say i am a 0 comma 0 and i have to sort out the trees by their values but i have to also store where the, this tree is actually located in the whole grid i'll tell you in the code part and then we will just sort them out and just do this bfs again and again from one to another point and that's it if we just count out the total number of steps set. So let us start with the very first function that is this. This is the pair function that will insert. I will just it over this whole forest that we have, this whole forest. The forest is having like this whole grid. So what I'll do is it read over that. If it is greater than one, then which means that I have to cut that particular tree. Because if it is one, it is no need to cut that tree. I have to only cut those trees that are greater than one. So I will only check that if a particular IJ if there is a patch on that particular ground on the field. If it is written one, which means that is a tree, I will push back that particular tree and i comma j, which means that the coordinate of that particular tree inside this vector v, and then we have all the trees inside that. Then I will also insert zero comma zero, which means that the, because I want to start from the zero comma zero also, and the, because there is no like I am assuming that because I want to start from zero comma zero, and because this should come at the very start also, because I have to first start from this point also, because I have to sort them. Okay, either you can sort them and then insert at the very start. Or you can insert this point and then sort them out. So eventually, if I insert this particular point also, and then sort the whole array out by the first value, the first value will be the uh, value of the tree length, and then we will sort it out. That is whole sorting. Now, what we'll do is that we will iterate over this whole trees. So this tree after sorting will be that my the smallest tree and the next smallest and next like the large like from smallest to largest, all the tree will be sorted manner. And we have the grid point where the particular tree is located. I will iterate over all these three one by one so that let's say I want to go from 0 comma 0 to the next smallest. Okay. So I will go from and because they are in a sorted manner, I have to go from i to i plus 1. So this is a BFS in which I have to iterate over this forest, go from i. So this is first dot second. So so sorry, second dot first. Second value is the actual grid point. So this is so let's say this is a pair. This is first and this is second. So second dot first will be the actual x and second dot second will be the actually y. So this is actually just giving us the coordinate of the starting point and this is the coordinate of the end point that I want to reach. So I have to do a BFS on this particular forest going from the current coordinate I am on to reach the next coordinate because all of these trees are now in the sorted manner because I have to do that in the smallest to the largest tree. So I will just do the BFS and this will return how much steps I have to take to reach that particular uh, new like the next tree that I want to cut to. Okay. I will just return that if it is not possible to reach that tree the answer is minus one. If it is possible, then the answer will be returned. I will be add an answer that how much steps that I have taken to go to the next tree. And then keep on doing that from the next tree. I have to do again a BFS. So I have to clear the map that whatever map or whatever traversal we have done, that is just cleared it out. And again, do a complete traversal from that particular point to the next point in the sorted list. Again, keep on doing that. And we have the uh, BFS again and again from every point. And then what this BFS is doing? So it's very simple. We just make a queue. Okay, we just insert that particular tree and a coordinate. The answer is minus one minus one initialize it with a uh, like uh, number that where the particular a new coordinate is at and then what we'll do is that uh, this level means that what is the particular distance you can also like it to be distance this is the x and y of the current uh, like we, because we are doing a bfs what we'll do is that we do in a layer wise or a bed wise type of traversal we'll insert the first coordinate that is from where we want to start and we will just do a bfs over that go to the next all the four coordinates and if the coordinate that I have reached. So I want to reach to L comma M. So if I reach that particular coordinate in that particular BFS, I just return the answer at the level that is the distance that I have traveled to and just break out. So if you haven't understand BFS, this is not the complete video for BFS. Actually, you can watch out my other videos on BFS or you can also search out on YouTube to understand what BFS, how, like how BFS work and then it become more creative. So we are just use Q to iterate, iterate over uh, the BFS traversal. So what we've done is that we will first pop out the first value from the Q and then iterate over all the four directions at the queue if they are not visited. So if they're not visited and they had a particular forest tree that present at that. So you can only iterate over or clear that particular patch that has a tree on it. So all the conditions are met that the new coordinate I want to go to from a particular coordinate x comma y, the u comma v that I want to go to, it should be inbound as well as it should not be visited and uh, like uh, like it should be having a tree. So I will go to the next tree. I will also mark it as visited and go to the next tree and also increment my level which means that the distance have increment. It's just a simple very simple uh, BFS traversal and then if 
I'm able to reach that particular point, this answer will be updated if I've reached the final point. And if it's not updated, the answer will be returned as minus one. Is the clear map because I have to clear the whole map before uh, every traversal. This is the direction vector so that I want to go in all the four directions. So you can just use that. It will do all the four directions. And that's it. That is the wasted vector because maximum can be 50. So I've taken 55, 55 for the wasted vector. And we just have to clear this out after before every iteration from going to one point to another. And uh, that's it that we have created out. That's it. So that's the whole code. You can pause this video at any point and you can check out the code as well. Uh, not pretty much difficult. You just have to understand the logic and it's very simple because the constraints are very small. So you can actually do that in the proof code. That's the overall logic and the code part for this particular problem. If you still have any doubts, you can mention it in the comment box of this particular problem. Thank you for watching the video till the end. I will see you in the next one. Like coding and bye.